How to be punk. You don't have to have something to rebel against to be a punk. You just have to look like you do. You will need punk music, punk hair, punk clothes, punk accessories, multiple piercings, and tattoos. Optional, bright makeup. Step one, pick a punk subculture. There's straight edge punk, glam punk, crust, ska punk, skinhead, skater punk, pop punk, goth punk, and bubblegum punk. Step two, play punk music, loudly. There's classic punk, like the Ramones and the Sex Pistols, and current punk, like Blink-182 or Good Charlotte. Step three, wear punk clothing. Horizontally striped shirts, leopard print tights in candy colors, super skinny jeans, tight tees printed with names of obscure bands, and black leather. Step four, accessorize with safety pins, lots of zippers, spiked wristbands, bondage buckles, bullet belts, chokers, and chains. Step five, wear Converse high tops, checkered vans, classic slip-ons, or combat boots. Go to Google Images and punk clothing websites for ideas. Step six, have your hair cut into a mohawk and dyed in different rainbow colors, or shave your head. Step seven, have something on your face and body pierced. Lips and nipples are popular areas. Female punks wear colorful makeup, and lots of it. Step eight, get a tattoo, preferably of a punk band, an anarchy symbol, skull and crossbones, or anything that symbolizes rebellion. Place it anywhere on your body. The more surprising the location, the better. Step nine, meet your peeps at punk rock concerts and look angry or just hang out in public somewhere, looking bored. Did you know? The popular 70s group The Ramones is widely considered to be the first punk rock band. 